How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be looking at how we can log into any website on the internet using Selenium. So for this example we're going to be using LinkedIn where we have an email field and a password field and I'm also going to be showing you how we can interact with buttons. So that's what we'll be covering in this lesson and we're going to continue where we left off. So in the last lesson we went ahead and created a browser and the browser had a service which we initialized as soon as we instantiated the browser. And we had two functions, one is the open page function and one is the close browser function. So we're going to continue from that by adding a few more functions that will make this very easy to log into websites. And the first thing we have to do is go ahead and add this new import. So from selenium.webdriver.common.by, we're going to import by. And I'm also going to go ahead and import secret and secret just contains my email and my password. So you guys can't see it, of course. For me to mask my credentials, I had to go ahead and create a new file. Now, scrolling down to the class we had from earlier, we're going to go ahead and add a few new functions. And I'll actually close the sidebar so we have more space. And the first one is going to be called add input. And we need to provide a selector, which is going to import the by. Then we need to go ahead and decide which value we are going to look for. And this is going to check a web element such as an ID or a class ID or a CSS selector. This is going to be the actual value of the element that we are entering the value for. So here we're going to say that this will be of type string and the text is going to be what we will input. So that will be of type string as well. So first we want to select a field, which is going to take the self.browser.find element. And as you can see, it's going to find an element by a by and a value. So here we need to go ahead and say that the by is going to equal the by and the value is going to equal the value. Then we'll call this field and send the following keys, which is going to be the text that we select. And then we'll go ahead and give it a delay of one second. So we have time to catch the program in case it's doing something that we don't want it to do. So this will be able to find any text field element. And we also want to create a function that can find any button and click on it. So for that, we'll just create a function called click button and it's going to take a by and a value as well. So just go ahead and copy that for the input. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and say that the button is going to equal the self.browser and we want to find the element as we did earlier by the by and the value is going to equal the value. And this should be button, not bottom. Then we can go ahead and perform a click and we're going to give it a time.sleep of one second. Now let's go ahead and create one more function, which is going to be called login LinkedIn because the login is going to depend on which website we are currently trying to log in for. So this is going to be different across YouTube, across LinkedIn, across Facebook. It's all going to be different. And a very quick disclaimer, I do not recommend you use this for YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or any popular social medias because they have really heavy anti-bot rules and regulations that could end with your account being banned. So definitely make sure you use this for something a bit lighter. This could be something you would use for WhatsApp, for example. So here we're going to go ahead and add username of type string and password of type string. And those are going to be your LinkedIn credentials, of course. So input, and we're going to filter this by the by.id. And for the value, we don't really have that yet. So we need to go ahead and open up our web browser, which contains LinkedIn. And we want to right click on this and analyze the property because we need to read the source code. And as you can see right here, we have an input ID of session key. So we want to copy that, minimize this and place it in as the value. And this will be used to identify that text field. And the text that we will insert is going to be the username. Then we want to do the same thing for the password. So it's still going to check for the ID. And if you actually go back here, you'll see that we can check by class name, by name, by ID, by link text. There's a lot of different identifiers. But for this case, we're going to check by the ID again. And we have to go back to LinkedIn. And if we go ahead and right click and analyze the password field, we should get something here that says session password for the ID. 
So we're going to copy that and paste it inside here. Now, finally, we want to click the button that's going to log us in. And we're going to filter this by the class name this time. And this will take the value of the class name. And I'm not just guessing what this is. I happen to know ahead of time what this is, but usually you would go ahead and open up your browser, right click on the element you want to click on, and you would look inside the source code for something you can recognize. In this case, it was a class right here that says sign in form underscore underscore submit button. Since it did not include an ID, I had to use the class. So with that, we can just paste that inside here and that will take care of clicking the button. Now with these three functions added to our previous class, we can go ahead and create a program that works with that. So first we want to go ahead and open the browser. So open page and we created that already. And inside here, we just need to insert the LinkedIn website. So www.linkedin.com. And once we open that, we can go ahead and give it a time.sleep because we want to make sure that the page actually loads. And if your internet is a bit slower, make a longer delay because if the page doesn't load in time, it's going to throw an error. Now we can go ahead and call browser.login.linkedin. And inside here, I'm going to first pass in my secret.email and the secret dot password. And now that's going to actually log you into LinkedIn. So you can perform whatever kind of actions you want after that. And I'm going to call time.sleep for 10 seconds because I just wanted to close the browser after that period. So this part over here is not necessary. If you want to add some more code, you can go ahead and play around with the add input and click the button, of course. So you can add friends or you can remove friends or you can like posts. There's a lot you can do. And actually, before we run this program, I've made one silly mistake and I've inserted the username twice here. And of course, we want to insert the password there instead of the username. So once we go ahead and run this program now, it's going to open the web page and it's going to automatically paste the username and the password in and it's going to log in to my LinkedIn account automatically for me. So now we can go ahead and try to scrape some data from here if we want. But after 10 seconds, it's going to close this and that is the entire program. So as you can see, it was simple as creating three additional functions to just make it more convenient to find elements. And the final one just makes it very convenient to log into any website you decide to log into. And there's a lot more you can do with this. And I'll try to cover more of that in a future video. But for today's lesson, that's actually all I wanted to cover. So as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.